Tariq, let's, uh, well, early Olympic talk. Yeah. Uh, Shakari Richardson mm. gets gets banned from the Olympics at the trial. She wins the she wins the hundred meter dash. She gets banned from marijuana use. And my, my first thing is, I first of all, I thought marijuana use and gambling are the two things you can't be guilty of anymore. Well, it, it, I, you know, it's funny. I think this is really just about marijuana use because the the interesting part about. Richard said, I wanted to see her so bad. She was part of my unfinished business a couple of weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It was it was really as as a sports fan, and you know this, Duffy, you want the alpha going against the alpha. You want the best against the best. That's what the Olympus is all about. We're not gonna get that due to uh, uh the anti-doping world, anti-doping test that came back from marijuana. But the real strike here has to do with so many people who now see marijuana legal in this country want to say, well, wait a minute, you know, it's not like she took a steroid. It's not like she took a, a human growth hormone. It, it, it was marijuana, something that I take or maybe I use for whatever reason, recreational or not. I think this is sort of one of those situations where it's not one of those performance enhancing ones, but it's still on the list. And you go with the NFL, you go with the NBA. They're starting to move that off of the ban list. The Olympics is not there yet, unfortunately. Plus, there are other athletes that took this test and they passed it. So I feel terrible because I wanted her on the screen so bad. I still do. I Even to this to this moment, I kind of want to see her uh, race in the Olympics because she's that big of a draw. But I just don't think it's going to happen. So I have to ask you, because the national commentators bring it up, mm -hmm. uh, there's a, an element of race to this move. And it, it comes out all the time. Yeah. I, do you see it that way? Um, yes. Slightly, but I, I see it more as one of those situations where it is, okay, so if she's on the team, she runs, she's one of the fastest, she, we glorify her, and that's the way it goes. I, what I'm against is not having people watch it because she's not there, because basically you're taking away from other African-American athletes who did it the right way who are on the team. So I don't really see it as that big of a, a, a deal when it comes to racial aspects of it. I know they try to compare Michael Phelps' totally situation. He didn't do it during competition. He got caught with a bong, and he did lose endorsements. But I just, I'm just upset emotionally that we won't see the best runner in our country at the Olympics this year, but even to her tweet, I'm happy to know that she'll be in the world championships next year. Yeah, you know, I don't know how they, all these pieces fit together and they don't seem to, but I thought we were past this point. Well, I mean, look, look, the rule is archaic. The rule is stupid. It's not a performance enhancing drug, but I hate to sound like old guy here, the rule. Happen. I mean, but you knew the rule. Look, 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 look. I want to see a race too. Like, not only is she phenomenal, but the personality is there, right? Like, yeah. that woman yeah. would have been a star. And thank God that, you know, the Summer Olympics are coming up shorter because of everything with COVID. But bottom line is, like, everybody else that's competing, observe that rule. Yeah. You knew it was a rule. I understand that she's going through a lot of personal stuff with her mother passing away. What was it, a month ago? She came out and said herself, like, she made this mistake. She knew what she did. Yeah. If you would have went back on it, well, then you would have had complaints. Look, I mean, I'm sure she's not the only person smoking pot, taking edibles, whatever, that's an Olympic athlete right now. If you let her go back, well, what about those folks that were observing the rules for the last six, you know, 12 months? It stinks. Change the rule. But I don't know how you can have a race if she out and out admits she did something that she wasn't allowed to be doing. Are you on the same page? Yeah, I mean, it's, you know what it is? It's the unfortunate aspect of, yes, rules are rules. I get it. I think there's a lot of people that feel as if we were rooting for her. She was our champ. She was our champion. Sure, yeah. She was our champion. And I think that's what happens when you get to the Olympics and you don't have your champion run. It's kind of like whoever wins this race will yeah. try to actually bring more attention to the world championship because she will be there with whoever wins the gold well, that's here. that's the premier race and she's got the colored hair and she's... She, you know, she, she's the cover person. She yeah. would be the cover person for our Olympic team. And just, and the coaches have a chance to, you know, fix it because yeah. they got a couple of picks, but they were promised to somebody else. But here's the thing. Think about this. Three years from now, I mean, you not only have best athlete in the world potentially, but redemption story. Yes. I mean, this, look, it stinks now. If everything maintains over the next three years, what a story that's going to be. Can I also be fair in understanding that, remember, we were supposed to have these Olympics last year. So now you've deleted another year, which means whoever was going to be on that, what is it, the uh, four by 100 meter race, you you would probably take them off of there, put her on there. That really disrupts the team and the chemistry. I just keep it the way it is. I understand it's a very tough decision, but it was made. We have to move on. And I would love to see her race if it's possible.